Welcome to the LG Corner with me, Dr. West Bishop. What we're going to cover today is why fish die. Now there's a multitude of reasons why fish may die in your water resource. It's never a good sight, it's never a good happening, but uh, it's definitely something that's important to note, important to cover why fish may die in your water body. Now the most common culprit of fish deaths is dissolved oxygen depletion. So fish need this dissolved oxygen in the water column to breathe, to live, and that dissolved oxygen may be depleted in many different ways. Now there's natural fluctuations in dissolved oxygen, such as high plant or algal growth, even if it's good types of plants or algae, they can cycle out at nighttime, they respire, they use oxygen in the water column, and that can deplete uh, oxygen levels in your water body. Uh, bacteria decomposition of, of organic matter is another reason why oxygen may be depleted in your water resource. Now this could be organic matter like leaves or grass clippings that just build up in the bottom of your water resource that they're using to deplete those oxygen levels, or it may be from natural cycling of uh, dead algae, an uh, algal bloom that cycles out, or a plant population that crash crashes either naturally or following an algicide or herbicide application. That depletion of dead organic matter from bacteria can be at play. Now, um, now weather conditions can also exaggerate this. If you have a lot of cloudy or rainy days that can impede the natural photosynthetic processes of algae and bacteria, again, that can limit the amount of natural oxygen that's being produced in the water resource, put more stress on the fish. Uh, there is often less dissolved oxygen that can be dissolved in the water body in these warmer, hotter temperatures. So if you have a lot of warm days and hot temperature days, it can cause just innately less oxygen in the water resource, stratification of the water, so those dissolved oxygen levels get depleted even farther. So there's many different causes of fish kill, but often dissolved oxygen is, is the culprit of the most common types of fish kills that we encounter, and there's many reasons that dissolved oxygen may be depleted. Now the next area we're going to talk about is other products that may run off into your water resource. So there's a lot of terrestrially applied products that can end up in the water body that can pose risk to the fish and cause a fish kill. These may be from a nearby parking lot, a sealant that was put on a parking lot, stormwater runoff, there's a lot of constituents in stormwater that may be toxic to aquatic life, or even a terrestrially applied insecticide. These can certainly cause risk to fish and other aquatic organisms if that gets too close to the water body or runs off into the water body. Another culprit of fish kills are fish diseases or parasites or viruses. Now, often the fish have diagnostic symptoms or clues if they have one of these, so keep a close eye on them. But there are many different fish diseases that can cause mortality. One common one is called ick or ichthyothyrus. This is an ectoparasite, also known as white spot disease, very diagnostic looking. But uh, again, this can cause mortality. There's many other fungal infections or internal parasites like flukes or tapeworms that can cause fish mortality. Uh, another area, another thing to keep an eye out for is toxic algae. Now this is on the rise and there are many different algae that can directly produce toxins that negatively impact fish. You know, the, the golden algae, the haptophytes, can produce a number of toxins that impact the gills. Uh, some of the cyanobacteria can have acute toxicity with the toxins they produce. And indeed, some euglenophytes or euglena can produce these fish uh, killing toxins. So keep an eye out for toxic algae as well as a culprit to potential fish kills. Now, there's many other areas, again, a multitude of reasons why uh, fish can die, stress due to spawning or old age or just being overpopulated or overfed in a water resource and there's much information that needs to be collected if you're encountering or dealing with a fish kill. Uh, take good pictures, take detailed notes of all the occurrences uh, that have led up to the event. You can sample your fish too and freeze them and get them analyzed by a professional to see if there's any diagnostic symptoms that they can pick out. Take a water sample, have the water analyzed, the water chemistry, the dissolved oxygen levels, all these can be very useful in determining the cause of your fish kill. And we do have another episode you should watch. So please see that episode for more information and uh, well document the reasons you may be having a fish kill in your site. And as always, if you need help or assistance, we're here to help. Please visit stewardsofwater.com for more information.